This is Randy Thompson coming to you live with Susan Faulkner Evans and her horse Bo. They've been a team for a little over four years, five years now I think. They're competing in first and second level dressage. Going to a show this weekend and we're working on our warm-up trot right now. Good, more. Yep, so that's it there until he starts floating with his steps. So Bo came to us with a lot of issues those years ago. He was a had some behavioral issues and Susan's done a great job at getting him to where he is. Good, more. Even more. We're just looking for a little bit more. And I'm just looking for what his hawks are doing. A little bit more. Right there. So that's his working trot from where everything comes from. Good. Now you're going to feel what he's doing with because we're watching his throw it latch. Slowly start picking up your rein and feel where he starts ducking his head. That's when he's not staying active. So when you start teaching horses how to stay on the contact, for second level bow has to be on contact all the time. The tendency is to shorten their back end. Our goal is for him to shorten the steps. Our goal is for him to be able to step up as she picks up the contact. Good, good. Get him to step up and start adding figures to this now. Yep, just big loops, big circles, whatever you want to use, that's it, keeping this springy gait. This is a nice working trot, Susan. He's going behind the vertical right there. So that's when you're gonna think that leg yieldy thing. So we're adding legs, Susan's legs a little differently to keep Bo's back end straight. So sometimes you'll hear me say, do a leg yieldy thing. So she uses her inside or outside leg. Good, good, how's that feeling? Going a little bit, just almost at the edge of behind the vertical. That was good. All right, now you're going to go from the medium. Let's go to the medium trot to lengthenings. So medium trot's going to be more uphill. You're going to ask him to shorten his reins. You're going to shorten the reins and just see if we can keep him without going behind the vertical. Get him to step up more from behind, even more. I'm looking for the hawks to do circles. Good. Yep, he's still a little like an egg going from this direction with his hawks. So we've got to get him to step under more as he lifts up. So I'm just looking for a complete circle with his hawks. That's how you can tell if a horse is engaging their back end and using it right. The hawks should do a circle instead of an egg shape. You know, sometimes his, like any horse, will go more longer forward instead of keeping the circle. Good. Can you feel it in your posting when he's changing his trot? Good, good. Now feel, is this like an egg laying sideways or a circle? Because now you're going to add a little bit of outside rein and leg to see if you can get that to stay, make it more of a circle. Good. Okay, lengthenings into mediums. New camera, so excuse me while I figure out how it works. There, there, there. All right, now to more of a medium where he's gonna go more uphill. So you're gonna shorten the rein and feel like he's sitting down a little bit more. Good. And now lengthen it around the corner. That's it, that's it. Now he's starting to pick you up different. Good. Into a medium, more power. Shorten his body like six inches. Good, good. And then lengthen. There he goes. That's the trot. That should be your medium trot at everything you're doing, all right? Of course, it's going to take practice. Okay, now do a lengthening trying to keep that trot. Because you feel he's got a little float to it. Good, good. Show a difference. All right, now let's start adding leg yield to this. See if you can keep that same looseness in your trot with your leg yields. And you, Oh, good, you used your leg first. Very nice, Susan. Feel the difference? That's right, and we're going to play with a little bit longer rein simply because he goes behind the vertical and he stops using his back end if we take up the rein too much, which is typical of horses at this level. Good, good. That's it. Get him more active with his left hind. More, more, more. So he fills up those reins. Make sure the reins are alive. That's when the horse is stepping up into the contact. The reins feel alive, otherwise they feel like nobody's home. 
Nice trot, Susan. From this trot, see if you can get the leg yields. Yep. That's it, more activity, more, more, more. I like how you're slowly shortening the reins so he gets comfortable with it. Yep, remember as you start your leg yield to ask with your back end first. Good, ask with the back end first, get it more active. More, more, more. That's it, more. And again, I'm just looking at what he's doing with his hocks. More, more, more. There, he should pick up your left seat bone. More, more. More, good, good. Okay, now let's just change the exercise. We're gonna add shoulder in into half pass. You notice we keep changing the exercises a lot. We're doing another leg. Yep, keep the left hind active. It's all right if he canters at first. This is, we're still in our warm up exercises. Good, good. All right, now shoulder in into half pass. Needs more bend, you should be able to see through his ears and the outside rein should lay across his neck. Good, you can feel he loses a little activity. So try for four steps and then give him one step of shoulder four. So four steps shoulder in, one step shoulder four back to a shoulder in so that he has time to get more forward movement. So that's how you can break up your shoulder in so he keeps more activity. That's it, and then one step shoulder four, and then forward when you do it. So the shoulder four is only like a two or three inch difference, and that's where he'll start moving more freely from behind. Yep, shoulder in into a couple steps shoulder in if he feels like he doesn't have enough activity. More activity, more, more, twice as much, more. Good girl, good, good. Oh, he says he doesn't want to do it, but that's okay. Get that big trot we like. Right there. Now try it from here. Just let his body slide over. Good, keep that trot. That's it, Susan, that's it. And when he starts losing it, you think you're just gonna straighten him out a little bit for just a second, and then you put him back into the shoulder four. Okay, shoulder in, yep, into the half pass. Half passes are new for Bo. This might be the third time we've had a lesson with him. Good, shoulder in, into half pass. Same bend, same position, keep the right hind active first. Good, more activity with the right hind. The half pass will improve his shoulder in. Good, keep that activity, big trot. Good, keep him up, keep him up. Oh, he's getting much stronger with his back end, Susan. Good boy, take a break, that's pretty intense.